LeMessurier needed to decide and decide fast, but revealing this mistake could mean lawsuits, bankruptcy, and professional ruin. He could stay silent, only Davenport knew and he wouldn't reveal anything, or he could entirely disappear. In a later interview, he admitted, I did say to myself, I could drive down the main turnpike at 100 miles an hour and deliberately drive into a bridge abutment. That would be the end and all of this would go away. I thought about that, but there was a 1 in 16 chance of collapse that very fall. With thousands of lives at risk, there was never any other choice but to act. After speaking to a few lawyers and other engineering experts, LeMessure told the architect Stubbins, and together they informed Citicorp's chairman, Walter Riston. Within hours of that meeting, LeMessure acquired emergency generators for the tuned mass damper. The TMD was originally designed to stabilize any swaying for comfort, but now it became the crutch that the tower leaned on. LeMessure pinned all his hopes on it. He called the confidential repair plan Project Pandora. But that sounded ominous, so he came up with the special engineering review of events nobody envisioned, or Project Serene for short. 